Hey everybody, this is Grace. I am on my way to the Dollar Tree, the huge Dollar Tree, here in Texas, and I'm not in any other state. It's becoming a little bit of a joke to me about um, the, you know, saying that I'm in the huge Dollar Tree in Texas. And why I'm thinking about that is because I know at least one person has this, well, they have bigger ones in this state or that state. I'm not in that state, and I'm pointing out the one that I'm not going to. <laughs> the biggest Dollar Tree store in Texas. And for some reason, it's just sticking in my mind. <laughs> because that's pretty stupid, really. It's not the first time that I've run across somebody who says something that's, you know, it may just be that they had a moment, you know, when their brain was not engaged, you know, that, that stuff happens. But for some reason, it just makes me laugh when I think that, and there was also another one, and here's one that's more like, um, you, you have to say, well, hmm, <laughs> you, yeah, you know how a lot, of, some, not a lot, but some people, they seem to think they know better in anything know everything and, and the person who is like actually working in that field and uh, and sometimes you have to wonder is that person that's working in that field just saying something to throw it all off or try to be the ball you know like to try to I don't know you, you just don't know what is their purpose but like for example I live in um, Texas and I've heard where I live considered the whole area considered North Texas okay but it's also when they narrow it down it's North Central Texas okay you see what I'm saying now imagine somebody say um, no you actually live in East Texas and you say no I don't live in East Texas they say oh yes you do I know it because I'm a post uh, I'm a I work at the post office <laughs> You would, you know, question, well, maybe they would know, you know, that after all, they do work at the post office, but do you know for a fact that all the, like, meteorologists and uh, the newspapers and whatever else, they're not wrong? You see what I'm saying? So, so you have to wonder, well, what, what is that person doing? What is that person trying to accomplish by telling me, you know, I live in East Texas? You see what I'm saying? Anyway. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and uh, see what I can find. It's really hot these days here. Like right now, it's uh, 12.07. It's 95. That's not that hot. Today is going to be like the coolest day uh, yesterday was that we're going to have in a row. The other days are in the 100 and something like that. I left. The heat index was... Uh, 102, and that was about 11.30, not when I left, but when I last looked, and, uh, and I don't know, last year we had heat too, <laughs> we broke records last year, and I don't know why this year I'm, I'm feeling like, oh, this is too hot to go out, I'm Texan, I go out, and the heat doesn't bother me, of course not, but, I mean, it's, the, of course, to me, the way I look at it, I don't ask me, I'm not a meteorologist or whatever. Uh, it's the sun. The sun on my skin, which I don't stay out long. I mean, I just go from my auto into the store, my auto back into my home. <laughs> but it's just that, you know, you open up the front door, and you feel a heat wave. You know, the big difference. So, I don't know. It never bothered me before. So, why is it this year? Anyway, I'm going to go there and see how it goes and if any uh, interesting thing happens. So, last, last time I went, it, it was so surprising to me that absolutely nothing went on. And usually there's some kind of drama. I'm not always involved. I'm ne I never cause a drama. I'm like the person who, just leave me alone. Chill, people. <laughs> you know? Don't try to involve me in your dramas. Yeah, but sometimes it happens. And last time it didn't. The only thing that was interesting, really, um, last time was when I got back out to my SUV. There was a uh, crow 
laying in a, um, a dip, you know, like a little hole, but it was covered with grass and all, and it was laying there. I, I couldn't figure out why, and, uh, and it was, and it was, as it turns out, it was, had its head cocked and was looked at, looking at me and just staring at me. It was kind of creepy, freaky, you know? and I thought maybe it needed something to eat, so I had a, uh, some rich crackers with me, and I gave it, crumbled up, and gave it to, you know, to the crows, I guess. There was more than one, but as I read later on, it was, uh, that that's how they do that, even really, it was really hot that day, and they do that because uh, it's important to them to sunbathe. To, to keep their feathers healthy. That's what I read online. I don't know who, I don't know who to quote or cite. I mean, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. Usually it's something, it could be something even frightening that goes on or what, uh, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Anyway, I'm gonna head on.